good morning good morning good morning welcome everybody back to the vlog which i have been neglecting i can't lie i haven't vlogged in a good few weeks have i because i've just been doing back to back hauls like autumn hauls zara h&m arcade like a bit of everything i'm sure you guys have been watching the videos if you haven't go on to my um channel because there's lots of hauls anyway i've just done my hair and makeup i was actually going to do it on camera but i feel like i have done that quite a lot just recently so i thought i'd just spare you um seeing my repetitive hair and makeup routine is a with Arden, eight hour on the lips of course i love this all year round but this time of year this is my best friend it really really helps if your lips are dry mine are really dry i also have a bit of a funny voice can you hear i'm not ill or anything like i will i don't feel ill touch wood i don't get ill but i just have a bit of a like um, I feel like I'm losing my voice. I don't really know what's going on. Anyway, I need to go and make some breakfast. Although it is basically like brunch at this point because it's heading more towards 12 o'clock. By the way, as always with me, if it looks a bit of a mess in here, it's because it is. It is a mess, but we're just going to ignore it. Do you all remember I bought all of these acrylic storage things for the fridge? Because I get my like self into these situations where I think, wow, I'm going to like organise my life. And now they just sit empty and I just chuck everything in the fridge and they just sit like this. <laughs> Honestly, the thought was there, but it lasted all of three days. Anyway, the fridge, I want to say the fridge is bare, but there's actually quite a lot of stuff in there. Um, I think I'm just going to be really basic bitch and have avocado and um, tomatoes on toast. I mean, let me just show you what I cooked up. So we've got one slice with avocado and tomato and the other slice has peanut butter and I want to say honey, but it's not as algarve syrup. Is that how you say it? Delicious. And it literally took 30 seconds. I did manage to get it all over my um, dressing gown, which isn't great, which by the way, my dressing gown, how nice is this? It feels incredible on. It's from a place called The Makeup Robe and it's actually one of my really close friends, Alicia's brand. And it's such a genius idea because what it is, you buy the robe to kind of match your skin colour. So I'm wearing shade vanilla. I do lots of different shades to suit everyone. And you know when you do your makeup and you get like makeup all around the collar, well I do anyway, my white robes are disgusting. Well this is designed to not show up the makeup because it's the same colour as your makeup, if that makes sense. Well, my makeup's a little bit dark in this, but anyway, basically, it doesn't show up half the amount of makeup, and it also is such gorgeous quality and feels insane. So if you're like me and you get makeup and tan all over your dressing gown, this would be a great investment. And it would also be a really lovely Christmas present. I was thinking this the other day, and I think I'm gonna get my sister one for Christmas as well, because I think she'd really like it. Well, that was delicious i'm gonna quickly get changed out of this dressing gown even though i kind of want to keep it on all day um but i can't do that so i'm gonna get changed and i'll be right back this is the first outfit of many of today and i say many because i'm gonna be doing multiple outfit changes because i'm filming obviously so yeah this is the first one this jumper i picked up from h&m about three weeks ago and i loved it so much well i've been loving it so much i bought it in cream as well it's mohair and usually mohair is really itchy, but for some reason this isn't. It's really snuggly, and I feel like it looks really expensive as well. Anyway, we're back in the kitchen for a short moment because when I was getting ready, I remembered I haven't taken my vitamins. And taking my vitamins daily is something I take very seriously in my old age. How times have changed, but seriously, yeah, my vitamins are a big part of my life. And I keep them in the cupboard over here, which is also one of the cupboards that I um, cleaned out when I did my fridge. And it's also a massive mess again, but we will ignore that. And I decanter my vitamins into these cute little aesthetic pots, which I got from Amazon. How sad am I? Um, I'm actually nearly all out of my multivitamins, but I do have a fresh pot here. These vitamins are actually from a brand called Ritual. And this is actually my third pot of the multivitamins. And I take two a day, and I have been doing that for... Well, it must be nearly two months. Yeah, thinking about it, it must be just over two months now I've been taking these. And this is what they look like, if I just show you up close. And these little tablets are full of nine high quality nutrients, which are actually really hard to get into your everyday diet. Even if you are super healthy, it's really, really, really hard to get this kind of nutrients into your daily diet. Now, until I found out about Ritual, I was taking so many different tablets, I cannot even tell you. I think at one point I was taking nine vitamins a day, and I thought to myself, there must be an easier way to do this 
than taking all these vitamins and that's when I did a little bit of online research. I found Rich Raw. The reviews online have been amazing. I've seen really great results myself too and it's just made my daily vitamin taking a lot easier and quicker because I'm not having to take hundreds of tablets. To be honest, I wish I'd started taking multivitamins sooner in my life, but hey ho, we are here now and they're the first ones that I take every single day. But something that's actually quite new to me from Ritual is their Symbiotic, which is a probiotic. Now, probiotics aren't completely new to me though, because I was taking a different brand of probiotics. They help with kind of like gut health, digestion, which is some things I kind of struggle with a lot. So as I already trusted Ritual because I've been taking their multivitamins for a number of months, I was happy to add this in as well. So those are the vitamins that I take on a daily basis. And something I also do is always take them with a wine glass of water because you know, we're bougie even at 9am. Even though it's not 9am, it usually is when I take my vitamins. Ritual also offering you guys 20% off of your first month of vitamins. I shall leave my code on screen. I'll also leave it down below with all the links to all of the vitamins that I've just spoken about. As I've already said, I wish I'd started taking vitamins in my younger life as well, but it's never too late to start and I'm trying to make up for lost time. And if you give them a go, let me know how you get on. We now need to film a TikTok and I need to pull my whole living room apart. Let me show you the current situation of the living room. Well, I need to push down this sofa here and create some room over there. We have a lot of boxes going on because um, I'm selling some bits and pieces over here and we just have to take a moment for this gorgeous bouquet of flowers that my lovely boyfriend got for me. He said that he bought me an autumnal bunch of flowers because I love autumn so much. They are dying a little bit though, which is a bit sad. They must have cost him a fortune. And they came in like a proper like bouquet, you know? But how sweet is that? Anyway, let's move all this stuff out of the way so I can film over here. Well, I've been filming. I showed you none of it just because I was rushing around. I've just put my living room back together. I've had an outfit change. So the top is new look and the leggings are Lululemon. However, I've just remembered I didn't take my um, sheets out of the washing machine. My tumble dryer is still broken and it's now quarter to six. They're never going to be dry for like bed tonight. That is so annoying. I need to go and get them. They are literally soaking wet and I need to use my clothes rail as a drying rack. <laughs> Honestly, my tumble dryer has been broken, I think for like three months. And even my heating has been broken for almost a year. I mean, don't you should love renting in London. And that is the real aesthetic life that I live. One day, guys, I will have a lovely big house with my own working tumble dryer <laughs> or enough place to at least dry my sheets. Like, what is going on? But like, this is actually a really good idea of a way to dry your pillowcases on a hanger like this. And then I hang them off of my um, breakfast table, like my island in my kitchen. Um, I hang them off of the chairs. Genius, if you ask me. I might actually put on my electric heater to try and speed up the drying time. I feel like if I like aimed it towards the sheets, they might dry a bit quicker. Hmm. Anyway, I've got about 10 more minutes and then I'm off to the nail salon. I don't know what's happened to my makeup today. I've got incredibly shiny. Well, I'm on the way to the salon and um, it's got so dark so quickly. Like it's only 10 past six. And it doesn't really look dark on camera, but I'm sorry if this is really shaky. I'm like trying this different mode to see if it's not so shaky, but you're very close to me. Um, yeah, it's so, um, so dark already. Winter is well on the way. And um, these are my current nails, let me show you. So current nail situation isn't fantastic. I mean, we need to sort this out. I'm feeling like I might get the same color again though, because I kind of liked this brown. Hello everybody, I feel like I need to start this vlog over again because it's been that many days since the beginning of the vlog that like I don't really know what happened. I had all of these plans, I have a hair somewhere around here, I had all of these plans and nothing really went to plan but it never really does, does it? Um, but I was going to go shopping with you all and I still haven't been shopping so we're going to do it today even though it's a fair amount of days since the day I was meant to go shopping. I left you, I think the last place was the nail shop and this is the outcome of my nails. They are exactly the same as the nails when I went in. Obviously without the broken ones. I can't lie, I was really upset when I came out of the nail shop because 
I don't know why, but the lady like hacked my nails off. They were a really nice length. I did ask for them to be a little bit shorter, but like look what she's done to that one. They're all just so short and not really much of a vibe, but whatever, it's just nails that they will grow. Anyway, I shall see you when we're in the car. By the way, how cute is this cardigan that I'm wearing? I don't know if you can see it properly. Mm, just flashing my bra there. It's got these like buttons down it. I got it from H&M. Can't lie, I actually got it last winter. But um, they definitely have something really similar on there at the moment, so I shall link it. It's just really nice this kind of weather, although I think I'm going to get changed into a hoodie or something like, even though this is comfortable, but something a little bit more comfortable because I only like to be comfy when I'm shopping, especially when I'm shopping on a mission. Can't be wearing anything that's either going to make me hot or uncomfortable. I'm here with my chauffeur. Would you like to say hello to everyone, chauffeur? <laughs> I have um, I've sold my car. Basically, my car needed to go. It's been like a long time coming and it didn't have loads of issues, but it's MOT needed to do and it needed a service. It was making funny noises. And basically, like I needed to get rid of it. And also the balloon payment was like coming up. So I sold it to We Buy Any Car. By the way, the easiest experience of my life. We literally took it. We got a quote online. And I kind of thought, like people said, once you get a quote online, when you get there, they then um, like knock down the price they're giving you online. So I was half expecting them to give me like loads less and they didn't. Like we literally, they gave me a figure. We got there and they only took money off because I only had one key, which obviously you all know the story about me losing my car key. So I only had one key. Other than that, they gave me the price and I actually ended up making three thousand pounds on the car so i sold it to them and then they gave me like the cash into well they transferred the rest of the money into my bank so that was great but yeah i'm currently carless long-winded um way of me telling you that i am meant to be getting a new car but let's not even go there it's just been pure hassle really um so yeah i did actually vlog a little bit as well when we went to go view a car but um because i haven't got the car the vlog is just like pending so wait for that one anyway I just got a tuna sandwich from Starbucks. First time I ever ordered a sandwich from Starbucks and I'm so impressed, it's so nice. Did you wanna try it? It's actually really good. I would rate this as far as tuna sandwiches go. It could be a little bit colder, but other than that, I would rate it like a strong, wow, I feel like if it had tomatoes, it'd be a 10 out of 10. Like it's, it's probably like an eight and a half out of 10 Starbucks. You have done so well. And I also got a pumpkin spiced latte, delicious. We have come to Kensington High Street. Sorry, this is so close to me. Um, I never come here, but it's so nice. And I feel like the shops are like really good here as well. It saves going to Westfield. Well, the first shop was a real success. I just went into Massimo Duty. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I'd never really shopped there before. And then the other day, I was looking online for a pair of black boots because I don't have a heeled pair of black boots in my life. And um, it came up online that they had some there. So I went into the one in Chelsea. They didn't have them. So I just nipped into the one in um, Kensington and got a big bag of stuff. Their things in there are so lovely. Like literally so nice. So I got boots, a jacket. I'll show you, like we'll do like a haul when I get in. Um, but yeah, first shop, we're doing all right. A few years ago, I'd have loved this top so much. I still do like it, but I just wouldn't really wear it. But it is quite cute, it curls around the collar there. I always feel like H&M is so much better online than in store. I've had a little look round. I don't really love anything. This would be good if I was going skiing. These are really cozy as well to like pop over gym gear and things like that. I've nipped into LK Bennett and look how good these are. As do you hear my knees click then? Oh my goodness. Um, Chanel dupes, like the Chanel ballet flats. They look so similar. Obviously they're missing the CC on the front, which is obviously a big difference. But these are, um, I think like 160 pounds. Ask to see if I can get them in the black. And then look at these ones as well also such a good um chanel dupe i really feel like lk bennett do such lovely boots like lovely quality oh my god look at my face in the reflection <laughs> um yeah like the soft leather of these boots are just insane so nice i just tried on those brown ones but um didn't really love them on i can't lie 
I was about to sack this entire vlog off. And then someone just wrote on my recent YouTube video saying that you all missed the vlogs. And I miss vlogging. But what happens when I vlog is I start the vlogs and then they go on for so long. And then I think, what am I even doing? Like, there's not even enough footage. My life isn't very exciting and I don't really know what to show. And then I end up leaving them. So that's why there's no vlogs at the moment because I haven't really been feeling so great in myself. And when I don't feel great in myself, I struggle to vlog and keep upbeat. And I don't really do a lot. So I was about to sack it off and then I decided, no, I'm going to stick to this vlog, even if it's not as long as my usual ones, I'm going to stick to it and it's going to be uploaded. So I'm going to show you what I got when I went shopping the other day because I think I mentioned it, I can't really remember, but I am going to Paris with a brand called My Origins. I haven't been to Paris since before. Oh my God, there's a ladybird on my window. It's on the outside though. I haven't been to Paris since before the pandemic. I went in the February of 2020 and had the best trip ever with my friends. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going back. I feel like you're slightly wonky. So all of the things that I purchased were kind of with Paris in mind because I want to shoot some content when I'm there and I want some like new autumnal outfits. So first of all, what I picked up from Zara was this little kind of ribbed knit set. Now the skirt, is way too big for me i picked it up in a size large the reason i did this is it was sold out in all of the smaller sizes and i thought i could put a belt around it just because i love how it looks paired with this jumper it's like a little like knitted cord set and i think it looks lovely by the way what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what i picked up and then i'm going to move my sofa and i'm going to show you five of my paris outfits give you a little sneak peek before i go um yeah and then obviously i'm going to pack everything and then i'm going to paris tomorrow so um yeah this is outfit number one and then i also picked up this blazer from zara by the way if you wanted to know the cord um was 25.99 the skirt and the top was let me find the label for you all 32.99 and i'm wearing the jumper in a size small and then i picked up this blazer by the way my hair guys can't even speak about it but my hair gets so greasy i washed it yesterday and it's like an absolute grease ball today. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on with my hair at the moment. I have just placed a big order on Look Fantastic. Um, some Kerastase products. Because they do a really good product that really helps with greasy roots. I used to use it. Haven't used it for ages. But I'm going to give it a go because my hair is in pure desperation. Anyway, back to the blazer. Um, I got this in a size medium. And it was 400. No, it wasn't 400 ignore me it was 149 pounds which is very pricey for zara but they seem to have this like new collection which all of the pieces are very expensive but the quality seems really nice haven't actually tried it on yet so we shall see if it actually works um as i say when i try everything on in a minute then what i picked up from massimo duty is that how you call that brand i'm unsure this brand is like really new to me and i don't know why i haven't shopped there sooner because the things they do are beautiful so first thing i picked up was this roll neck kind of pricey the whole store i can't lie but the quality is lovely so the roll neck was 69.95 and it is literally just a cream roll neck see what i mean like you could literally get this from h&m for like 10 pounds or primark for probably even less but um it's made out of really lovely fabric the reason i'm looking at this is i'm trying to tell you what fabric it is made out of it's made out of wool but it's also 15% recycled wool. So I picked up that. But the reason I got that is because it goes so beautifully with this cardigan, which is stunning. Like, it's so, so beautiful. Now, I want to say it's Teddy or, like, Boucle. Is it Boucle or is it Boucle? Let's have a discussion in the comments on how you say that. I think it's Boucle, but I might be wrong. But look at this jacket, guys. It is so, so gorgeous. The material is just everything and then it's got these gold buttons down the front if you get a little bit closer you can see those the only thing i would say is it's molting everywhere um i picked this up in a size what size i get a size medium and it was 169 pounds kind of pricey but really really lovely like i'm obsessed with that and the last thing i got from there were a pair of boots and these were actually the reason i went to this store in the first place because i saw these online i've been after a pair of kind of like heeled black boots for a while haven't been able to find the perfect ones anywhere I saw these online they were out of stock in my size so i went to the store and they have them so they look like this i have already worn them i can't lie i wore them out um last night 
because they go really nice with leather trousers and they're just stunning so they're real leather they've got a little bit of a heel on them as you can see but not too high as i say i wore them last night pretty comfortable considering there is a heel they fit true to size and they're not quite a sock boot so they're not quite fitted to your leg well they might be depending on like your the size of your leg mine they're not quite a sock boot but they fit really really lovely and look so nice over the top of like as i say a leather trouser but also underneath jeans as well so i look forward to styling those up and then a couple of other things that i picked up which i'm just gonna show you all because we love a little unboxing i got myself the airpod max because i am a sucker for anything that is trending like i can't lie if something is yeah trending i'm just like i'm not gonna buy it i'm not gonna buy it i'm not gonna buy it and then i'm like okay i bought it that is literally me and that is exactly how i've been with these headphones do i need them absolutely not do i want them well i kind of didn't and now i do and i felt like as i was traveling obviously i'm going to paris on the eurostar i thought they'd be really handy and i do spend a lot of time with airpods in whenever i'm editing like obviously my vlogs my videos um when i'm listening to music whatever i just spend a lot of time with headphones on so i was kind of justifying the purchase and i think they look really cool as well however i have tried them on myself i think i look a little bit of an idiot and also can anyone just give me a um bit of advice how do you put them on your head without getting makeup all over them because if i put them on my head they're going in my ears and then the makeup gets all over the phone bit or do you just have to like deal with that and that's what's meant to happen i don't really know maybe i should stop wearing makeup but my skin's not good enough for that so that's not really an option but um yeah i'll let you know what i think about them i'll give them a review i haven't used them yet so i can't even tell you about the sound or anything but yeah basically tiktok sold them to me because yeah as i already said i'm a sucker for anything that's like cool girl vibes if I can even be an inch of a cool girl, I will try and be it. And then the last thing before I try on my outfits, um, this isn't actually going with me, which I'm really sad about. But I'm going to show you it anyway because it is incredible. Like this coat is insane. Um, it's from a brand called um, Neo Tyne. I think that's how you say it. I wanted this coat since last winter and it arrived and it's too big which i'm really sad about because i really wanted to wear it in paris um but i actually looked at the weather forecast and the weather in paris is meant to be really warm so i feel like it'd be too hot to wear out there anyway but this is the coat as i said already i'm going to show you it on properly in a minute it is real shirling and it is just incredible it's like this deep chocolate brown probably not showing it very well right now so let me go and show you the situation in my dressing room because i'm trying to pack but it's all a bit of a mess and then um yeah once i've kind of sorted my outfits out let's do a little try on before i put them into the suitcase because i feel like that could be fun me showing you what i'm gonna wear when i'm out there i'm gonna start by showing you how everything looks from up here looks quite calm and civilized and then done look at the mess of this i'm just trying to like section everything out this case is going to be full of all of my handbags and things and then over here is going to be all of my outfits i've already put like bits and pieces in there but we're going to do a little try on i was going to do like a proper pack with me but i feel too stressed to be doing that right now so let's just do the outfit thing instead because i feel like we're always here for the outfits so let me put an outfit on now i'm sorry for the camera angle but it's kind of like the only way i can show you guys my full length outfits and then also my hair would never usually be like this, but we know the situation with my hair today. So outfit number one, this would be like my travel outfit, the outfit that I go on the train in because, you know, travel outfits matter, guys. So we'll just pretend that my top is ironed and hasn't just come out of the wash. So my jeans are from Zara. They're a little bit too big for me. They're not really the most flattering, but they are so comfortable and I love how they look like over the top of my Ugg boots. Then my shoes, of course, are my ultra mini Uggs. My hoodie is um, a Nina Bing. Let me get a little closer. I got it from Farfetch a little while ago. Really, really lovely quality. My coat is from Mango. My t-shirt is because of Alice Boa. And yeah, it's a really comfy outfit. I'm traveling really early in the morning. So I don't want to be like feeling too uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? And obviously the train's a couple of hours. And it's nice and warm. And then the finished look would obviously be with my suitcase. Let me go and get my suitcase just so you can see the whole vibe. Okay, here we go. So, the suitcase, the headphones, guys, you know, because like edgy girl and all of that. 
what do we think this is going to be the full travel outfit look and then obviously i can re-wear the coat when i'm there i can wear the uggs the jeans i kind of like factor them into other outfits um by the way i am going to be taking this case and a bigger case i wish i was the person that could travel light but unfortunately i'm not so yeah this is outfit number one the travel look and as i'm in a pair of jeans let me show you the shirling jacket on i mean she's stunning but she's giving like way too oversized i mean yeah like it's just too much isn't it even if i kind of like push the arms up like roll her around oh my god i don't want to get makeup on it do i get oh my god i don't even want to put it on properly because i put makeup on my neck today because my fake tan is starting to go patchy but just so you can see the vibe it's beautiful she's stunning she's everything i thought she was going to be but it's too big. I think I'm gonna do like a size down. Do you know what? Like the body of it's not that big. It's the arms. Like the arms are huge. Just way too long. I can't lie. I'm absolutely sweating. So this is the Zara outfit. And I've got the oversized grey blazer on. Then I have the knit set underneath. So the skirt and then the jumper as well. I have my Chanel Trendy and then my boots are my ones from Oasis. If you watch that haul, you'll recognise them from there. Real leather and they just come like under the knee. If you're in the market for a pair of boots like this, they are great. I have to say, I'm so happy with them. So yeah, this is like the kind of vibe I was thinking. However, I think it might be a little bit too hot. So I could switch out the boots and the knitwear and just wear the grey blazer with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. But I kind of like it. So yeah, that's another outfit. The next outfit is an all black look and could possibly be my favorite one of the whole trip. So my blazer is from Arquette. My dress is from Everlane. It's cashmere, very warm. My bag is my Celine Triumph bag in the teen size. And then my boots are once again, my ones from Oasis Fashion. I'm trying to like do outfits, especially with footwear, where the footwear can be worn more than once. So I've got less luggage I'm gonna be taking. So I'm gonna try and wear these boots like a couple of times, which is why this outfit is quite similar to my Zara outfit. But I feel really comfy in this. Like the boots are really comfy. The dress feels really free. Why am I doing a dance? I have no idea. <laughs> um so yeah i feel like this could be like a really good one and even though the dress is knit so it's like a little bit warmer i don't feel like i'm gonna be too hot in this even if the weather is really warm by the way i'm so sad i dented my celine bag this leather on this bag is so like damage prone it's really sad now i'm not sure this jacket actually looks right with this roll neck so i might wear it with a cream t-shirt instead but this is the jacket that I got from Massimo Duty, but it's so nice. Like, look at it up close. I love it. Then I paired it with, as I say, this cream roll neck and a pair of faux leather, kind of like coated trouser jean things from Naked Fashion. By the way, the roll neck is also Massimo Duty. And then my boots are also Massimo Duty, the ones that I showed you a minute ago, and I love them. I feel like they're a really flattering boot, very classic. I feel like they're gonna go with everything. And as I've already said, they are quite comfy as well. Then my bag is Chanel, obviously. <laughs> I feel like the cardigan could also be worn with like a little cream t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and like a little pair of flat shoes. If you didn't wanna go for this kind of like dressy look, and also if you don't want to be so wintry but i absolutely adore this cardigan i think it is so so nice now this outfit is very kind of like neutral beiges i'm not sure how i'm feeling about it so you will have to let me know what you think but i have on this knit dress which is actually from topshop i got it years ago i can't lie but i will link something similar down below my boots are from naked fashion i love them they're real suede and then my jacket is the same one I'm going to travel in. So this is obviously from Mango. And then my bag is my YSL Sac de Jour bag. I just wanted something very, like, you know, autumnal vibes. And I feel like any outfit with lots of browns and neutrals in is very much that vibe. But I don't know. I feel like I don't really feel like me in it at the same time. So you guys will have to let me know if it looks good. I've had to belt it as well. By the way, I'm just out of breath because I keep getting changed. I've had to belt it because this dress is actually really long, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I don't really want the belt to be seen. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this outfit because 
I'm not really quite sure myself, to be honest. Another all black look. I feel like a real lady in this outfit. Not saying I'm not a lady, but I feel like this outfit is very ladylike and also very Parisian vibes, you know? I feel like the tweed jacket, the gold buttons. So, my trousers are from H&M. My top is, I think it's from New Look, but it's not the top I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be wearing like a plain black t-shirt, but I can't find one. My shoes are my Celine loafers, which are finally a little bit more comfortable for me, which is great. So I'll be able to wear these out and about. Then I've got my Chanel bag, and then my jacket is from Oasis. You might remember it from the haul I did with them. And I love it, it's so nice. I feel like it looks really expensive. I love the gold button detail. It's giving very much like Chanel or Celine-esque vibes. Um, but as I say, I feel like it's a very ladylike outfit, but I kind of like it. And it's also, well, I wanna say it's really comfortable, cause you know I love my comfortable outfits. However, the shoes, they're comfortable right now but I'm worried they're not going to be comfortable for very long. So we'll see how we go with that. But the rest of the outfit, I really like. So those are all of the outfits I'm taking. I'm just dabbing the sweat from my lip. Oh my goodness. I'm actually gonna be taking more outfits than that, but I kind of want to save them so I can show you guys on Instagram instead. Um, anyway, I've just got changed for the hundredth time today and my boyfriend and I are going for a roast dinner because we've got this thing where every Sunday we go for a roast and try somewhere new out. So today we're going to the Chelsea Pig. Um, we've never been there before, but my friend recommended it. So let's go and see if it's good. Sorry, we had to literally rush out the house, but whilst we're on the way for a roast dinner, I always get asked this, and as I already said, we do do lots of different roast places. What's the favorite roast place in London? Darling, where? The Rose and Crop in okay. Clapham. Okay, he doesn't like talking whenever I'm videoing, so this is the issue. Um, but yeah, the Rose and Crown in Clapham is so nice, but also the Cadogan Arms in Chelsea. You've never had a roast there though, did you have fish and chips? Such a good roast dinner, guys. I, you can never really get in there though. Well, you can if you um, book in advance, but I'm so rubbish at doing that. Um, but yeah, as I say, today we're going to the Chelsea Pig. Oh my Starting God, it says it's 13 minutes Chelsea away. Pig. I'm meant to be there in five, this is great. Sound. Roast dinner is my favorite meal in the world. It has to have all the trimmings though, and I hear that this place doesn't have cauliflower cheese, which is a little bit of a letdown. Um, but yeah, I hear that everything else about it is fantastic. But yeah, it is my favorite meal of all time. Um, and yeah, we usually walk as well on a Sunday to wherever we're going. But we're late today and um, yeah, we also don't have much time because obviously I need to pack. Um, so yeah, but always time for a roast dinner. Well, the Chelsea Pig verdict. What was your verdict? Out of 10? Seven. Seven? Seven, it wasn't a seven, there's no way. Yeah. Well, no cauliflower cheese. The potatoes were nice, but I think they, were, they weren't very fresh. Like they were crispy a little bit, but not like fresh, fresh. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it was missing something. Even the gravy was like a little bit watery. Do you know what I mean? above average though. Yeah, it was above average, yeah. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. I'm in a sea of clothes. It's raining if you can hear some weird noise behind me and it has gone incredibly dark. You're also slightly wonky over here. Um, yeah, I feel like I kind of, I'm like an organized mess, if that makes sense. I'm kind of organized. Ow! God, I had some like stabbing pain in my side then. Yeah, kind of organized, but um, also like, a complete stay everywhere and i would film me packing but i feel like it's really not going to be that interesting so i'm actually going to wrap this vlog up here i have no idea how long this vlog is going to be and um yeah it's been spread over a number of days i already have like my next vlog kind of half filmed that's if i get my car in time but basically i um i'm getting a new car it's actually been on the cards for like a month um and i test drove some cars and stuff but i was just kind of like waiting for me to actually get the car 
to show you that vlog so yeah my next vlog is on the way i am hopefully going to be back on the vlogs because i've missed filming them they are my favorite thing to film and um yeah wow there's lightning as well anyway as always thank you so much for watching if you don't already i'd love it so much if you subscribe to my channel or follow me on instagram and on tiktok and i shall hopefully see you in my next video take care of yourselves guys bye bye